question and I call the honourable member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, I rise today to speak on behalf of all of the locals in my electorate of Dunkley who have taken the time to email me to ask me to support a royal commission into suicide deaths of veterans. Um, and I am proud to say to all of you and to all the other veterans in my electorate and across Australia um, who haven't been able to contact me, I am standing here to support that royal commission. I also am speaking today to recognise the Frankston RSL, the Seaford RSL, the Vietnam Veterans Association, uh, particularly Cheryl, who is so tireless in all of her work, the Frankston Navy Memorial Club in Lang Warren, and the young veterans um, who work in my electorate, and all of your members, and everyone who has served and is serving for our country, and to say thank you. It's been a while now that Australian veterans and their family members have been calling for a royal commission, and those calls have got increasingly louder. We need a royal commission into veteran suicide because this is a real issue and an issue that we can't allow to continue. It should be bipartisan. It's not a political exercise. It's something that affects the lives of not just the people that take their lives, but their families, their friends, their children, their communities. The latest data shows us that veteran death toll by suicide since 2001, and I understand it's a conservative measure, is 10 times greater than our losses in Afghanistan. And that's not something that we as a society should accept. It is clear from the conversations that I have had with veterans who live across my electorate of Dunkley that there is system-wide institutional failure and there are real concerns with some of the ways the Department of Veterans Affairs, not the people who work there, but the department, the system as a whole, is operating. So it is time, many would say beyond time, that a Royal Commission is what we need to determine why the interventions that have been in place over the years aren't working and where we can go. Not everyone supports a Royal Commission. Not everyone who is a veteran supports a Royal Commission. But certainly in my community, I have had many people lobby me to ask for a Royal Commission. And one of the things that a Royal Commission can provide, which isn't provided by a standing um, commissioner through public hearings is closure for some people, um, healing and restorative justice. We know from the Royal Commissions we've had in this country into institutional sexual abuse, mental health, aged care and disability services which are ongoing. And we know from inquiries that we've seen around the world into social ills, that one of the most powerful things that comes out of those inquiries often is the chance for people to tell their stories and to have their stories heard. Yes, the recommendations that would come out of any royal commission are very important, and they may well include to establish a permanent commissioner, but as important is making sure that people's voices are heard that their experiences are taken into account and that they know that they are not forgotten or ignored. We also know that within our veterans community there are a range of issues in addition to suicide but which are often interrelated with that ultimate terrible and irreversible act. We know that there is an issue for many veterans with accessing affordable housing and with homelessness. We know that there are issues with um, vet veterans accessing mental health services before it gets to um, a stage of no return. We know that for many people who have served and then um, come home, they find it very difficult to re-engage in the community and suffer from unemployment and a sense of isolation. 
and that we know that for the widows and widowers and children and families of those who have lost their lives serving, um, there is ongoing grief, often ongoing financial issues and, again, often feelings of isolation. And that's where the RSLs, the young veterans, the Navy clubs are so important. The Vietnam Veterans Associations are so important to provide that sense of community. So I am supporting a royal commission because it will be the opportunity to look into all of those issues as well. From my perspective, I think that's important because we know they are related to um, suicide. And I want to finish just by saying you can be assured, people who have served our country and people who are serving our country, um, that I and my colleagues will continue to stand up for you and listen when you ask us to act. Thank you. I thank the honourable member.